Hi, I'm Kurt Larson and I'm the CTO here at Nimblelink. Whenever you activate an LTE device, there's always an associated APN that must be set in your product. On the E2C link, this process can be automatic, but sometimes it must be set manually. The first time this device connects to the network, it will query Verizon to try and receive the APN automatically. If it successfully gets the APN, you can restart the modem and it'll connect to the network with the proper APN. However, if you try to connect and it doesn't connect to the internet, then you may have to manually set the APN. You manually set the APN by going to the System Startup Scripts section in the Management Console. On the Scripts page, you scroll down to the bottom and there's some text that must be edited. There's a pound sign that must be removed in front of the export provision equals one row. The second thing that needs to happen is the export VZW APN equals needs to be appended with your specific APN. You can get your APN from Verizon or from Nimblelink if Nimblelink provided the data plan. For more information, please see the E2C Link user manual or visit our website.